Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome to my cliffside house in Fallout 76. So, after the last couple of videos we were uh, very much finding my feet and trying to figure out my way around the building system. I think I've got the hang of it much better now. So, uh, we're going to take a look at a, a much improved effort. So, there's quite a lot of learning going on at this stage still. But uh, I've got the general gist of how things work. Um, you can sort of more or less ignore the structure in the back there. It was my initial attempt that I'm going to pull apart in just a moment because it didn't work. <laughs> but uh, we're going to start off with the foundations. So that's that's uh, the logical place to start, basically. Um, and everything needs building off a foundation in this game. So A few issues I had with this particular location is with the uneven ground, snapping foundations in in a few places can be a bit awkward. Sometimes it'll snap straight through places you wouldn't expect it to. But other plot pieces, like that patch of dirt at the top there, it for some reason doesn't want to play ball with. So we have to work around that a little bit. We'll get rid of this one and we've got the initial section of the floor in place. So the idea behind this build was to do something with different angles and different heights and elevations and generally make it look a little, a little bit more interesting and less boxy, which is a, an easy trap to fall into with... The, only having square pieces to snap together, more or less anyway. So I'm going to swap the staircase out here, this is an internal one. Put the walls on before or after, in hindsight maybe before might have been easier, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've swapped that around so that the staircase is on the other side, because I want the door on that little uh, single sticking out piece there. And we're going to extend an upper floor across the top of this raised area. That's snapping on no problem. Upper floors now, uh, single uh, thickness compared to the upper floors in Fallout 4. And must be snapped onto a staircase of some description. They will not snap onto anything else on their own. So, you see there I'm having issues with that little patch of ground. I can place things on it, but foundations apparently are not one of the things I can place there. So, we're going to have a little alcove sticking off the side. And once this wants to cooperate, it will do in just a moment. I'll snap two more on this end as well. There we go. So the thing to watch here is these two walls I'm putting in first. They're going in just fine now, but um, I've taken those floors that I've just put in off because they were preventing the wall snapping in. So there's a, a massive build order issue with the, the whole building uh, approach in Fallout 76 really, but uh, particularly with this build. It was Pick and choose where I want my walls to go, and uh, some internal doors as well. You can see, just spin that around and uh, snap the door on any way around you want. It was going to be inside, so I've decided to have it the other way around. There we go, we'll take a look at the initial section of the building. So I wanted something out here, kind of porch or patio, that sort of thing. But the bush on the left hand end there is causing some issues, along with not being able to snap the stairs in. So I could put them, I could take this uh, left hand one off, they actually went in there, fair enough, got that. But that bush will get in the way. So we pulled it out, there we go. Or rather, the bush got in the way before I put, took the foundation off, is more what I was getting at. There we go. So we'll snap the stairs onto the end, got a, a mini sort of porch step up area there. Snap one of the fences onto the edge there, tidy it off. Which, um, it was found under the defences tab, strangely enough, rather than uh, railings as they were previously. So out the back here, I wanted another doorway to give us access to the cliff top here. But as you can see, the staircase won't go in, so we're going to put a couple of foundations in, as those are quite happy to play ball. You can sort of see at the top edge there that I'm right on the edge of the build area, which is... Uh, my mistake more than anything, but it's causing a few issues that we have to work around. Can't get a foundation to snap in there. And as you can see, these fences don't want to snap on very much either. So if we go over to the other type of fence, same tab, but closer to the uh, old style from Fallout 4, those cooperate much more easily. There we go. So we'll come back to this in just a moment when I've made my mind up exactly what I want to do with it. And we'll head back upstairs and put the upper floor back on. 
There's still challenges here. With the walls on, I can now no longer snap the floor in place. And as I said before, you can't snap the walls in with the floor in place, so we've got a slight issue there. So, the workaround I found for this, we'll snap the floors in first. Come down, as you can see that wall is not going to go in. However, I can put a foundation in here on the right, for some reason. There we go. Can't get one in on the left, but another little workaround and it works anyway, so. Snap the wall on there. This one still won't go in, because the foundation isn't there to guide it. However, we'll pull that floor off. Now we can put the wall in. And flip that one around. Eventually. <laughs> I'll do that in a minute, don't I? So, uh, yeah, we'll put the floor back on the top now. And it's using the um, other floor pieces that we've got already in as a, a guide for where to snap. So it'll now actually work. Oh, okay, I remember. Whip the uh, upper floor off. Didn't need to take the foundation out as it happens, but anyway. And then spin the wall around, snap the floor back in. Again, the upper floor is providing a guide for where it'll snap. There seems to be a bit of a theme with the building in 76 that uh, if you've got more than one thing to snap to, there's usually another way to work around things. Sort of figuring out exactly what does and doesn't work is an ongoing process, to say the least. We'll stick some walls on this upper room. Unfortunately, that back corner is, uh, again, right up against the edge of the build area, so I can't get a wall on there. I can get a railing on there, strangely. But uh, not on the end with the walls. My first thought, to be fair, was that it was just not supported and that was the problem. So that's what we're attempting to fix here. And again, having very limited luck. You'll see how we work around that in just a moment. We'll put that foundation back in in a sec. There we go. And that provides something for the metal pillar to connect to. So the building no longer looks like it's floating. It'll come back up to the top, and I've got a new solution to attach to a floor to this end that doesn't involve having it look like it's floating because I can't get those posts in. We're back over to the foundations here, the wooden foundation, and it's not going to snap for some reason. It just doesn't snap to the upper floors. Make a right lot of sense, but there we go. However, although we can't group select and pillar glitch stuff in, it does seem to be reasonably forgiving with its collision. So we'll line it up. And then just nudge it ever so carefully forward so that it's just up against the edge of the upper floor there. Basically doing it freehand, eyeballing it, but it works. Takes a little while. There we go. That's about as close as we're going to get with that. And this time, another foundation will just snap to that first one. If you've got the lines right, they shouldn't clip through each other. But there we go. We now have an upper section that's uh, actually supported. We're going to head around to the other side from where we just were and put some floors and roofs in. Initially I've just put a roof in here, but I decided I wanted a kind of balcony out here. So, make sure I can place things down so that I can snap railings on. I'll have to take the uh, roof off and replace it with floor pieces. However, with the doorways and the walls down below, again we're having problems snapping them in. Uh, I'm pulling out everything I think might be causing the issue, and then I remember the door, and there we go, simple as that. In this case, however, as you can see, they'll go straight back in without any arguments, so... No problem. Now we're making progress. Pull those remaining walls off. Just to be on the safe side, at least. And I'll stick a couple more floors in. Realise I want this the other way around. <laughs> there we go. And it's just a case of sticking the railings on and then snapping the walls back in. You can see around here where I've still got the walls down below, I can't get the railings on, so... Out with those walls. In with the railings, and then we put the walls back. And that is uh, the crux of building something like this in a new building system in Fallout 76. There's a couple of changes I've made that uh, either didn't record or I didn't record or something to that effect. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. 
But um, that roof on the left there is going to come off and it will be replaced with a bedroom, which is exactly the same principle. Just in case of snapping everything on. As you can see right now, that's still looking a little flat and boxy. So some changes definitely need to occur. And we've also got way too much uniformity on the front windows there. Or the front walls, rather. So we're going to have a look at making a couple of changes for those, see if we can mix things up a little bit. The other thing that I changed and did off camera was that um, this main building that we were looking at just there, currently a large single room. And I've actually uh, put a couple of internal walls in to divide it off into two sections. So a couple of changes are slightly better, but still not what I'm looking for, still a bit boxy. We'll pull these roofs over. We're going to turn this end set of uh, foundations, this last bit of the room, into a balcony instead of having it part of the main room. Makes it a little more confined, but... As you can see from the top right there, we're getting rather close to the top end of the uh, build budget as well. And I actually finished this, so I was bang on. I literally cannot place another item down at the moment. It's a little unfortunate. So put a few railings on, snap the walls in in a doorway. And now we get out onto our balcony. So I have heard rumours that um, the build budget goes up as you level up. But frankly, I find that highly unlikely and haven't seen any evidence of it myself. So somewhat unconfirmed at the moment. But it's something I will be keeping an eye on just in case it does turn out to be true in some weird universe. So what I'm looking at here is putting an angled roof over this balcony. To make it feel a little bit more like a permanent part of the structure. Can't snap these half walls in, even though they'll do the job, until we take the roofs off. Which do conveniently go back in once the uh, walls are in place, so... Toy with that for a moment while I uh, try it out, try to get it figured out. And there we go. Roof off. Walls in. Put the roof back on. There we go. So, looking slightly less boxy, but I don't like that very sheer edge to the balcony, so I'll come back and change that in a moment. Also, uh, it's still a little too flat on that front edge, so we're going to put a little walkway and lead that down into a kind of balcony area here. Sort of patio is probably a better word. As you can see, the stairs won't snap to the bottom of that ramp, probably because of the stone I'm trying to build them on, but the foundations will, so... It'll also go over the edge quite nicely there. Again here we're getting right up to the edge of the build area, so I wasn't able to put railings around that further edge, so I'll pull the last couple of bits back in a moment. So I did want to have this ramp going all the way across and then with the stairs snap to the bottom of it, but because of the bridge we're currently standing on, which is dead easy to knock together, it's just a few foundations and a few railings. But, uh, because that's there, I can't put the staircase in, so we're just going to have to crank it down a little bit. And then we've got some access. I actually ended up uh, putting a couple of those back so that we can uh, have a proper patio rather than just a walkway. But again, that was during the segment I didn't record. As you can see there, I can't put that uh, railing on because we're right on the edge of the build area, or possibly even outside it by that point. There's a little bit of leeway with how far you can stick out, which is cool. But uh, not that much, unfortunately. So, snap on the last couple of bits and pieces. Put a door in here. We'll change up the roof in a moment so that it all matches as well. But I'll do that off camera as well. And we'll have a look at the finished product. There we go. You see the changes to the roof there. Put a couple of angled wall pieces, made it a little bit taller. And put a cap on. And the same principle has been used over at the back there as well for the bedroom. Have a little look around. Bit of a pity I didn't manage to get that last bit on camera, but uh, this video is already getting longer than I'd like it to be, so mixed blessing, I suppose. A couple of dead simple turret emplacements there. We've got a couple of traps to keep anybody from running up the stairs and uh, meleeing them. Our bridge actually serves very, very well as um, sort of a, a bottleneck for anybody who attacks the camp. So I tend to uh, see that as the easiest route in and try and path straight across it. And they hit the trap and they're directly in front of the two sets of turrets. So we're on the edge of the Toxic Valley here. A nice view out from the balcony. And we'll have a look at the living room. So just after I built this, I sat down in that rocking chair there. And this will explain the blood somewhat. 
and uh, made a short bathroom break. And I came back, didn't bother logging out, didn't think it was going to be very long. And I find some guy standing right in front of me, shooting me in the face with a hunting rifle while I'm sat in my rocking chair. It turns out it was called Basil Brush. I was not impressed. Unfortunately, by the time I'd sat down and got my headphones on and so on and so forth, it cleared off. Otherwise, I'd have stood up and just shotgunned him in the face, but... I was quite annoyed at returning to find myself being shot by Basil Brush. He actually did a bit of damage to a couple of the walls and destroyed my water purifier and stuff as well, which was frustrating. But well, there's a little look around the bedroom. See the balcony's got a, a little bit of seating out here and nice view. Got a nice bit of weather for our tour as well. I've unlocked a few of the plants. Obviously these are holdovers from Fallout 4. There are more available and there's some in the uh, Atomic Shop as well if you want to get them in that one manner. Downstairs, under the stairs, we've got the stash box and the camps moved under there as well. Camp unit. And I've simplified the balcony a little bit, so we just head on out onto the cliff top if I want to. Going back around into the first bit we built. See that internal wall I put on on the right there. A little narrow in here, but we've got a nice little workspace. All the benches we need. The stash is not far away. I need to access it or ditch anything in it. And into our little kitchen diner. <laughs> Which is why I put the internal wall on, because I felt putting the cooking station and the, the food and eating area right next to uh, the crafting area, particularly with the chemistry bench, didn't make a right lot of sense. Heading outside, we have a water purifier and a couple of power generators to run it there. And the water pump in the back corner if I need uh, dirty water which you do need for a number of the recipes, so that's what that's there for. And there we go, a much more accomplished effort, I think, than the last two anyway. I'm quite happy with this. It'd be nice if I had a few more decoration items, but as I say, I'm right on the build limit, so I couldn't put them down anyway. But there we go. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gents. Do hope you enjoyed. If you did, do hit those buttons for me. It's always very much appreciated. And do stop by and catch one of the streams if you're uh, around as well. We're having a lot of fun playing the game at the moment. For now, thank you very much for watching. I will be speaking to you all very, very soon.